Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 14th of September to the 18th of September 2020. As always, we're going to start off by looking at the US dollar index and crude oil before running through a number of markets, looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to be highlighting some of the targets we're going to be looking for in this coming week and also for the week's head. So I hope you're having a nice weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. As always, we're going to start off by looking at the US dollar index. Now, we have been bearish on the dollar index for a number of months now. And we noted in last week's video and in previous videos that the sell off in the US dollar looks to be starting to lack momentum with this kind of falling wedge pattern where we fail to break below the lows and hold with any significance. And this lack of momentum may be signaling a near term reversal, not a complete reversal. We are still fundamentally bearish on the US dollar, but a potential correction if not a reversal in the dollar index, a bit of a breather after the recent sell off. And we did break above the 9340. This is indicative of a near term reversal and a potential bottoming pattern in the form of a potential inverse head and shoulders pattern. And as a result, we are anticipating a potential rise in the dollar in the short term. However, because of where we currently sit in relation to the previous pattern, you can see we're right in the middle. We didn't really have any significant rally last week. There is a very good chance that even if this is bottoming, we may just start to see some corrective moves in the dollar and we may move sideways for the next week or two. So although we are looking for this to potentially grind to the upside and we do favor in the short term over the coming weeks, a potential rise in the dollar, we are going to go into next week with a neutral bias on the dollar. And all that simply means is we're going to be trading the individual markets on their own merit. So how they are currently structured without a strong bias in the dollar one way or the other. And I wouldn't be surprised if some currencies rise in value against the dollar next week, while some currencies depreciate in value against the dollar at the same time. So the next market we're going to look at is crude oil. Now, last week we started the week right here in this area, and we were looking for a sell off down towards the 36.59, which was the second target from last week. We did have a nice sell off in this market and we took out both targets to the downside and the 36.59 was right here. And you can see we pretty much finished the week. That was the whole week's move trading straight into the second target. And we just kind of moved sideways as some profit taking came in. Very simply put, going into this week, we are still focused on shorts in this market. What we'd like to see first is a pullback. It doesn't look like because of the sell off here, it doesn't look like we're going to come back and retest 42.63. So any correction in this area is going to be viewed next week as an opportunity to start to look for bearish setups, i.e. bearish reversals to the downside. And if we get the right kind of bearish setups in this market. If we start to correct and we break to the downside, we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next Kiev support to the downside, the target set at 34.35. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next Kiev support to the downside and target two at a 30.09. So the next market we're going to look at is euro dollar. Now, last week we made new low in euro dollar, just the inverse really to what we saw in the dollar index. But you can see we are kind of still moving sideways. This is a bit of a choppy market. And one of the things we have to consider as well going into next week with the dollar pairs is that on Wednesday we have FOMC. So we have a press conference rate statement and interest rate decision coming out of the Federal Reserve. And this is going to affect the dollar markets next week. We're probably going to see a lack of volatility, statistically speaking, between now and Wednesday, and then the markets will probably start to move from Wednesday onwards. So just something to bear in mind when you are looking at trading the dollar pairs this week. And in fact, all of the pairs really, because the US as the world's reserve currency has an effect on all of the other currencies as well. So just something to bear in mind when you're trading next week. And just keep in mind that the markets, especially the dollar pairs, can get and probably will get very volatile around Wednesday evening, seven o'clock UK time. With that said, what we'd like to see this week is any pullback in the euro dollar towards the 1.1919 is going to be viewed as an opportunity to start to look for a near term reversal to the downside. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next Kiev support to the downside of the target set at the 1.1659. So the next market we're going to look at is pound dollar. Now, last week we reversed to the downside in pound dollar and we reversed harder than a number of the other currencies in pound dollar because of ongoing uncertainty over the withdrawal bill in the UK between the EU and the UK. As a result, we did see a stronger sell off in the pound and going into this week, we do favor further declines in this market. 
because of this sell-off, the market needs a bit of a breather first, especially as we're coming close to the next Kiev support. So any pullback in this area, and it seems unlikely we're going to pull all the way back to the 1.33540 because of the momentum behind the sell-off. But any pullback towards this area is simply going to be viewed next week as an opportunity to start to look for bearish reversals. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next Kiev support to the downside of the target set at the 1.2667. So the next market we're going to look at is US dollar Japanese yen. Now in previous videos, we have highlighted the 106.270 as an area to start to look for short positions and short opportunities to the downside in this market. We are starting to see an appreciation in the value of the dollar, but if we start to see stocks selling off again next week, despite the fact this is going to push up the strength of the dollar, we're going to see a rise in the dollar. This will also see the US dollar decline against the yen because in times of fear, the Japanese yen rises against the dollar despite the fact the dollar rises and so we could still see declines to the downside with a rising dollar in this market next week as you can see so far we failed to make a high over here we failed to make a low over here we failed to make a high over here and we failed to make a low over here so this is indicative of a coiling pattern a wedge type pattern and it just shows a gradual lack of volatility in this market we've really seen the us dollar yen doing nothing over the last two weeks we do still favor despite that bearish setups in this market and any set up in this area right now is going to be viewed next week if we can start to break to the downside is going to be viewed as an opportunity to once again look for short positions in this market and we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next Kiev support to the downside in the target set and the 104.70 the next market we're going to look at is Aussie dollar now last week we highlighted the 0 0.71970 as a key area of support to look for a bounce to the upside in this market. We did pull back and we bounced at this level and we are now looking for further advances to the upside in this market going into next week. The uptrend in Aussie dollar is still intact. Therefore, any pullback towards the 0 0.71970 for anybody not involved from last week is going to once again be an opportunity to start to look for bullish setups in this market. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next Kiev resistance to the upside in the target set at 0 0.7475. And if you want to take a more conservative target because the dollar itself is kind of neutral as opposed to weak at the moment, you can look for the previous high up here as a more conservative target for long positions going into next week. So the next market we're going to look at is New Zealand dollar. Now the uptrend in New Zealand dollar is also still intact. So we do favor long positions, long setups in this market going into next week. Any correction towards the 0 0.65510 is simply going to be viewed once again as an opportunity to look for bullish breakouts in this market. And we're just treating this as a large bull flag. Any reversal to the upside in this area is going to be viewed as an opportunity next week to start to look for long positions in New Zealand dollar. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next Kiev resistance, the upside in the target set at 0 0.6825. So next market we're going to look at is US dollar Swiss franc. Now last week we highlighted the 0 0.9197 and we were looking for a rally into this target and we did turn almost to the pip once we took out this target and we pulled back and we finished the week bouncing at the 0 0.90530 which was the key area of support highlighted in last week's video. Very simply put, as we're bouncing between these two areas here, we are kind of in a range in US dollar Swiss franc, but we do favor long positions in this market next week as it looks to be potentially forming a base here in the form of an inverse head and shoulders. So any breakout to the upside, as long as we don't break this low down here, any breakout to the upside is going to simply be viewed next week as an opportunity to go long once again. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance as highlighted from last week, the 0 0.9197. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and target two, the 0 0.9367. So the next market we're going to look at is US dollar CAD. Now we start the week above the 1.30950 and as a result, we do favor long positions in this market this week, especially as we have crude oil selling off to the downside. A sell off in crude oil is correlated with a rise in US dollar against the CAD. So very simply put, any correction to the 1.30950 is going to be viewed next week as an opportunity to look for bullish breakouts to the upside. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance to the upside in the target set the 1.33290. And last but not least, we have gold. The uptrend in gold is still intact and any pullback towards the 1898 
is simply going to be viewed as an opportunity to look for bullish breakouts to the upside. If we get this kind of price action, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance, the upside, the target set at the 2014.32. Now, something we noted at the end of last week's video was that gold is in a bit of a corrective period here. There is a real lack of volatility in gold. And we said in last week's video that this could continue through to next week. And the same really remains true for this week. Some of these corrections can go on for weeks and weeks and weeks. In my experience, it's better to actually wait for the first break of a correction like this before looking to re-enter with positions. So I would really like to see some momentum coming into gold. Out of all of the markets we've looked at in this video, gold is probably my least favorite short term because of this ongoing correction. I would probably favor some of the other markets over gold going into next week. But fundamentally, I do quite like long positions in gold because of the devaluation of the US dollar. So overall, I do still favor long positions in gold to the 2014.32. But just as we said at the end of last week's video, it is lacking momentum and this may continue over into next week. So you really have to think about that in terms of capital allocation, because if you tie up money in something which isn't moving, you can't allocate it into something which is moving. So just something to bear in mind going into next week. So that is it for me for this week, guys. Just remember, we do have FOMC on Wednesday at seven o'clock in the evening UK time. And as a result, there's a good chance we see the markets kind of moving sideways between now and Wednesday. And then we see volatility on Wednesday. And that really kickstarts the next leg in the dollar, either up or down. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big thank you to everybody who does that on a regular basis. And a big thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel so far. I want to wish you all a fantastic weekend. And I want to wish you all the best in your trading next week. The only thing left to say is take care and don't forget to trade safely.